Alright, back again. Today we get out the Sega Saturn. I figured we'd put in this game here. Nazo Makai Muda, The Incredible Tunes. So we'll pop that in and play some of that. Just setting that stuff up. Now this is a really fantastic game made by Capcom. To the uh, the Ghost and Ghouls or Ghost and Goblins series, you're gonna love this one. It's got all the characters to it. Um, it's uh, in a puzzle form, but has all the great music that you remember from those games. Um, it's challenging. It's tricky, and it's a lot of fun. So let's get this thing started. Like I said, it is a puzzle game and it will make you use your head, but uh, it's got all the great characters. Um, we'll just kind of skip out of this one here. Uh, it's challenging. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. So for example, this first stage, um, what you're basically supposed to do is you're supposed to use these two items, you only get two of them, and you're supposed to complete this, um, I guess, uh, puzzle here to get it to where the ball actually hits this guy here. But um, if you look at this piece, you notice if you stick it here, it's too short. Um, if you try to rotate it, these are some options I also give you, if you try to rotate it, looks like it might work, right? You might be able to get it to jump, but there's not enough velocity and not enough uh, speed coming down here to make it jump. So, with these games, they really do uh, make it quite challenging to where you have to use your mind, right? And, uh, bring this one down here. And we're gonna stretch it. Bingo. And we're gonna take our ball here. We're gonna pop it up here. So. And then we got our little uh, Death over here, who's got the controls. Uh, kind of reminds me of uh, Yoshi's Cookie, where you got uh, Mario kind of, you know, switching the control knobs on and off of the cookies, only a more demented form. Anyway, um, if you click on him, oh, shit. Let me get this thing down a little bit more. If you click on him, start. There you go. So that's the first round. Um, these things do get gradually more and more difficult uh, here. Uh, if you never played the game before, it would take you probably a good, I don't know, three minutes or so just to figure that part out. Um, we'll go on to the next one. This game is actually uh, designed for the mouse, uh, to use with the mouse for this, uh, this system. Uh, but I don't have the Sega Saturn mouse, unfortunately. So if you just hold down the... Uh, right uh, upper top button, you can still get the cursor to move fast, let go of it, and you get it to move slow. So basically the same thing. You know, maybe the mouse might be a little bit better, but it still works. Now, the idea for this one is that you want both of these guys, both of our heroes, to grab the statues, but you also want both of these monsters to suck in this belt and eat it. Now, if you take this and you move it here, start it. This is what you get. 
which is all fine and dandy, except for a guy up here at the top is just not doing anything, he's just standing along, you know, just waiting. So, we're going to take the same one, we're going to put it here, and we're going to start it. And once again, they both get it, but, you know, the top guy, the top monster isn't sucking in that belt. So, probably figure, well, what I can do is I can just put it here, and then, bada bing, that's it. But, you notice our guy doesn't go and get it up at the top. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do this. We're gonna drop it right about there. That's what I mean by how this game can be a little bit tricky and difficult. Um, like I said, as the stages go on, it becomes more and more complex, but that's the fun part to it. I right hear basically for this one the concept or the idea is not to get these statues here, but just to get our guy to the top. Unfortunately, with some of the placing of these items, you think like, oh, I can do this, and our guy will just go right up there, but. That's where he stops. So once again, you got to be a little bit tricky here. And now, the idea is just for him to go in here and grab this one at the top. So we're going to do that.